CQA is an organization of individual investment professionals who are interested in quantitative research in the investment area. CX stands for Chicago because it was its home base uh, when it, formed, it was formed in 1993. Uh, but since it has grown into an international organization, and now Chicago accounts for less than 10% of its member base. In 2011, it has established its Asia chapter, CQ Asia, uh, based out of Hong Kong. So now it's actually a very international organization. Uh, in terms of CQA Investment Challenge, uh, it's an investment challenge for college students uh, for both in US and Hong Kong um, that compete on uh, in building an equity portfolio in a real world setting. Back into September 2012, um, at that time, because it's the beginning of the semester, uh, we are less busy and that's why we decided to join the competitions. Um, and at that time, so we received emails from the business school, uh, which uh, they are promoting uh, two competitions, the CFA uh, Institute Research Challenge and also the CQA Investment Challenge. And they were going to have a preliminary selections and that's why we decided to join the competitions because it's a good chance for me, uh, for our team to um, practice uh, to um, and uh, practice our uh, business knowledge into the real business world. And so we decided to join the competition at that time. The Chicago Quantitative Alliance uh, Investment Challenge is the uh, first ever. Uh, investment competition organized by CQA and uh, we were very lucky to be the only Asian team to participate with the other uh, around 15 US team, uh, university team. And for this investment challenge, we have to build a long short strategy, uh, making it a market neutral portfolio uh, using the US equities. And for this uh, competition, uh, we will make use of the StockTrack uh, online trading platform to um, build a, a portfolio. And uh, most importantly, we also have to send out some weekly updates. And at the end, we have to uh, send out a, a fund flag sheet to uh, promote our fund uh, to show that we indeed have a really good return uh, using our strategy. Yes, definitely, because we are the only non-American team in the competition and we are very glad to know that we are the second runner-up. If we could do it again, I would say we can make better use of uh, the analytics tools provided by the organizers such as Bara and Market Research. They have very insightful information and we should have uh, looked into them better. I think the most valuable experience for us is to have, we have a chance to experience the dynamics of the financial market. Because let's take an example, uh, in the competitions we're going to um, build a portfolio which consists of US equities. And, and, and we have to build a market neutral portfolio which means the beta have to uh, lies between the negative 0.2 and the positive 0.2. And at the, uh, at the beginning of the competitions, we have already uh, constructed a portfolio so that it's complied with these regulations. However, um, during the competitions, as the stock will go up and down, it's turned out that the overall beta of the portfolios uh, uh, violates the regulations. And that's why at that time, we are trying reluctant to rebalance the portfolio because our portfolio return is quite good. Um, but however, find out, we find out the reasons for why we violate the regulation is because um, the overall in, uh, the long position outperforms the short position. That's why uh, a long position will have a higher beta, and therefore the overall portfolio have a higher beta and violate the regulations. That's why uh, uh, it's a kind of the uh, knowledge that we cannot learn from the textbook because it's really about the dynamics of the financial markets. Oh, definitely, we have learned a lot throughout the class and especially one of the course, uh, FINA 3080, uh, Investment Analysis and Portfolio Management has helped a lot uh, in how to establish a portfolio and also how to allocate weightings uh, for each stock. 
and uh, besides uh, the help of professor uh, has helped us to select uh, some of the criteria in selecting stocks such as the industry, the economic environment and also some fundamental analysis uh, like the PE ratio or the dividend yield also helped a lot. Besides our mentor Mr. Patrick Lee has also helped us, helped us a lot uh, in um, providing us some uh, research report uh, which is using the uh, quantitative methods. Um, these research reports are built by the um, investment banks and also some of the uh, fund house has give us some insights in uh, how to allocate uh, the stocks and also uh, what are the, um, the most important uh, criteria on building a, a fund portfolio. Our advantage is we luckily have uh, uh, received in-depth training in finance and economics even though we are still undergraduate students. But the disadvantage is we took more time to understand the US uh, economy and the stock market characteristics such as uh, maybe the technology or energy stock may play a bigger role in US where it's not the case in Asia. I think it's always important to have these kind of events to try to practice trading in the markets, to make investment decisions with the group. All of these are important if you're looking at a career in finance. But an important thing also with more realistic simulations, you need to like it. In the end, it should not just be a job, it should be something that you really like. And if that's the case, it's easier to excel in it. So I think that's also important to take away. These kind of things are exercises but also working in a team, having a way of fun and having a project together. And it's always nice if you get a good outcome. Yeah, in the end, it's an incredible cliche, but it is a global village. And maybe, especially the financial markets, but all the other parts of the economy too, everything becomes more and more converged. And that means that you do have to get exposure to other parts of the world, other cultures and other mentalities, because you get confronted with it anyway. And from a trading perspective, it's like Sun Tzu, the more you know about your opponents, the better you're able to withstand them. Yeah, I would say always do these things. Not only is it a learning experience to look a bit at the practice of what could be your potential career, but also you get to work in teams and you do things outside of the university curriculum. Because as a university, we can offer you all the knowledge and the teaching and we give you the opportunity to get all the knowledge. But it's up to you to make use of that knowledge, to try to get as much exposure and as much experience as possible. So I would always say try to get as many internships or other experiences outside. And a competition like this falls within that as well. <laughs>